this falls falls into our normal categorization of um, householders versus versus monks, where you know, you know, Anthony said all of us we could qualify that and say most most of us have these desires. You know, there's there's I read quite a few things recently about asexual people. So yeah, we could have asexual people. We can have monks who don't have those desires i think when <clears throat> when tom knowles talks about this or quotes Mah maharishi he says you know um renunciates it's not they're not they don't have to kind of give up sex it's not they're, they're not giving it up they're just not interested in that like guru dev wasn't interested in that it wasn't like he said no i'm gonna not do this <clears throat> it's not like i'm suppressing a desire that i have i just don't have that desire so, yeah, so it's important that if you do have those desires not to, not to, well, to, to think carefully about what you want to do with them and not suppress them, you know, for the sake of it. But, yeah, then there's a, another difference that I think Anthony was talking about with whether, because when we see sexually active spiritual leaders, it's often not just they're sexually active, but they're promiscuous and then they're kind of hurting people or abusing their power mm. to do it and, mm -hmm. you know, we watched the Bikram documentary last year, which is a kind of key. And it's so funny about that one because he's just, he's walking around in his undies, <laughs> 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 kind of strutting about. And there's that difference between being a normal, yeah, maybe the difference between like, like an Anglican priest and a Catholic one where, you know, the Anglican might be getting married if, if they want to, whereas the Catholic can't. It's, there's a difference between yeah normal sexual relations and and abusing your power in a position of authority and mixing that you know it's like we as teachers teachers of anything have this kind of rule of you know not not to have relationships with with students because it because it's when you mix sex and power i guess it gets dangerous and that's why you can't have it in workplaces and why it's a big scandal when it comes out in we're having lots of sex scandals in in politics here in australia at the moment and it's yeah it's mixing those those things where it becomes dangerous but yeah it's not incompatible it's just how you make yeah making sure that it's not tied in with your you're not using your position to to kind of get anything out of people and there's not that um imbalanced power dynamic but yeah the the householder versus monk thing you know we're householders we're proudly so so from from a vedic meditation perspective it's it's not incompatible but but yeah being wary of using that position and you know as anthony said as you progress spiritually you're, you're less likely to want to do that because you'll be more aware of the effect it will have on on other people mm -hmm.